We're going to continue on with our fall color finger painting. Stick around as we paint a field scene. I'm Tim Longwell with Longwell Art, and we're helping you continue to grow your creativity for contentment. If you like what you see during the video, be sure and click the subscribe button below. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to take some orange. We're going to make us a pumpkin. We're going to do this one a little different this time than we did the last one. Get that paint off the back of the finger, waste not, what not. Cleans up real easy with the water, so that makes it nice. I'm just going to use a, take a little brown. That's easier said than done. <laughs> Make us a nice little stem. Okay, well, we're letting that get ready for our brown, so we'll let it get a little tacky. We're going to take some yellow. Make us a little set of stalks here. We'll just add some color here for now. Now we're going to come down. This is basically going to be behind the pumpkin. So we're not going to, as well, so we're not going to go off into our pumpkin there to, with this bundle of stalks and straws, whatever it might be, corn stalks or wheat straw or whatever. It's, we see in our direction. I think we see in the decorations usually that when they build them like this, they're corn stalks. Because it is harvest season. A lot of choices out there this time of year. Just kind of swipe it and dab it around. Or you can just do it real fast, depending on what surface you're working on. If you're using a darker paper, then to make these on, then this would go faster. But since I'm trying to cut down on the white that's showing behind on the back here for you, I'm just going to take a little bit more. Work with it. Do some wash up, change colors. I'm going to add some streaks of brown in here. Just to kind of add a little tone to the colors here. I'm blend them in a little bit. Give it a little shape and definition in a way. Now remember these are watercolors, so you don't have to be real bold with it if you don't want to. You don't have to worry about how much you can see through or not. I'm just trying to make sure you can see it on the camera. Maybe somebody's dropped some apples over here. You just kind of make a little the shape of your apples with your fingertip. Maybe some different berries. And don't worry about where you get a drip. Just change what the what it is. Or you can so that's just a bunch of berries. If we add a little bit of blue to that, yeah, kind of turn it purple. Maybe turn it into a bunch of grapes. Then we have leaves. So we might have some orange leaves. And we'll kind of put a Maybe an oak leaf in here. Not a big oak tree. Maybe drop this one. Now this will be easier if you're not working on an easel, if you're working like on a little table or something. And this one's just going to go off the bottom since it's down there. Maybe we'll add another one over here. And it's going off on this side over here, coming around like this. Kind of use your fingernail to kind of get to the point. Maybe we'll add some up here. Be careful not to get your, lay your hand in your paint there on the bottom. Add some more brown, darken it up a little more. We'll put one, another one down here. Maybe put another darker one in. More, a lot more brown in it. Go with the flow. 
Just let it do what it's going to do. Let's make an all brown one now. Maybe we can see the big top part of it and the other parts underneath the orange leaves there. Well, let's keep it kind of simple. And we'll just, from here, we'll kind of put in a little bit of a background. So we're just going to kind of hint at things. So we'll take some, a little bit of yellow into our brown mix. Tiny bit of orange. Kind of make a light. And you just get the color whatever you want it to be. I'm playing with mine to get the color I want mixing here. I make it look like some dirt a little bit. And then we just kind of scrape it in around what we got here already. It doesn't have to be perfect. We just add in a little color to the background. Doesn't matter if you get a little bit of the other colors in it a little bit. Fill it in just a little bit. Give it a little bit of flavor. It doesn't have to be very thick. Like I said, it doesn't have to be very bold. Kind of getting it in there to kind of hint what's going on down here in the ground. Now I'm going to take some of our blue, kind of start up here and just, again, it doesn't have to be real dark, it doesn't have to be real light, just kind of hint that it's there. Here, we'll take our background color and kind of mix in there a little bit. Makes it a little darker background. Here, and some more up here. So it kind of matches a little better. Wash up a little bit here. And there you have a nice little simple fall scene to add to your decorations. Hope you enjoyed this little venture. I appreciate you stopping by. Remember to continue to create because creating brings cre contentment that benefits your health and your happiness. And while you're creating, but most of all, be sure you have fun.